All right, so what's the plan here today? What's the what's the goal? Keep a strong front line so that we can't get swarmed. Remember that they're going to start having archers so that they're going to be able to get more than a single attack. Plus, the cavalry have Kanto. Now, individually, I don't think these guys are going to be super dangerous. Only level 10 or 13. But it's, it's more about the swarm. So it's keeping people from getting isolated. Start getting kills without uh, doing dumb stuff. So, Aaron, I'm just curious. Four damage before the multiplier is not very much. She'd be pretty good with the javelin too, right? We're gonna try it. If she if she gets hit, she gets hit, and then she doesn't get to do much more until she gets healed. I don't know how much damage this will do. Four is not enough, so hopefully the crit is good. That was quite a lot more than four. Twenty-nine down to eight. I should figure out the math on these crits. But she did dodge, so she can just keep doing that for a while. So that was, uh... What did I say? 29 damage? 6 plus 11 is 17. I wonder if it's like... Doubles your damage before the defense is factored in or something like that. Alright, what, what do you think? If we move the mages up here, we're going to be advancing a little bit. But it's the only way... It's the, it's the only way for Azel to get a kill. And Azel, he's got to get some experience. Come on, guy. All right, come on. Show me a good level up. Skill and magic. Okay, okay. That's good enough. Can't complain. Ah, uh, let's see. Jamka. I guess if we're making another, like, fragile line here, then Jamka's up. Maybe... Actually, Lewin's kind of low level, technically. Ha, ha, ha. Ha, ha, ha. Uh... Well, Javelin counter. I can heal him if I have to. Alright, Lewin. Good dodge, good dodge. And with Pursuit, he would have gone again. And with Adept, he may have gone again and again. Yeah, I, I think Lewin's going to be, like, pretty darn good. Strength, speed, defense, and HP. Eh, I would have preferred some magic, but speed and defense help him out. He is very fast. The Pursuit Ban gets good value from it. Okay. Now, we gotta start being careful how we move up. We do have lots of space. But the more we push forward, the less space we have. I don't think I want to use the feet, the foot units right now. Because I don't want to push any further than this line for this turn. This is an easy pick off. And that's kind of the big difference between Jamka and Midir. Even though Jamka uh, is probably a better offensive unit, the fact that we can do this move and Kanto stuff is really, really powerful. Speaking of which, there's no reason my, my Cav line can't do the same thing. Kill a couple guys and then pull back to here. So that'll be the plan. We'll start with... Uh, we should probably heal a little bit. But let's do Lex. With his Brave Axe, he should just get a kill. Yeah. Just barely, actually, but enough. And then that way we don't have to worry about healing him or anything. The brave weapon makes the cav. Aw, oh, come on, Lex. The good news is he's almost ready for promotion. Uh, surely he'll get some good stats on promotion, right? Alright, who else? Finn... Seems like a good one as well, thanks to his Brave Weapon. Man, who am I going to give the Brave Sword to? Oh, he's one damage short! Maybe he'll get... Uh... Oh no, he should get Pursuit. He gets three attacks. Oh, Finn, you beautiful man. Negative three speed versus... Uh, negative one. Well, negative one is larger than negative three, believe it or not. I don't know if you guys have completed your... Your grade 2 math course, or whatever grade it is. Aw, oh, Finn, letting them hit you. I know it's 89%, but still. 
All right, Finn. You can do it. Second best unpromoted cav. Skill, speed, defense. Yeah, that's pretty good. Especially with a with a brave or with with pursuit, you get a lot of good value out of um a, a lot of good value out of speed. He's got heavy weapons. That finally brings his speed up to zero. He made it to zero, guys. All right, now Quan. I was gonna heal him first, so we need to heal Finn and Quan if we do this current plan. We're definitely out of range of the ballista, but. We're at the edge of our space now. And I should probably try to get one more kill, I think. Quan could certainly do it. So we'll let Quan get it, and then it'll be Quan Sigurd, which means... Or actually, Quan can go here, in which case we can have Raquisus heal him. She might get hit by an archer, but that's not going to kill her in one shot or nothing. Yeah, that's okay. I'll take it. I mean, just double check how much damage we would take in return, though. Actually, I'm not even sure if he'll get the kill, to be honest, because he doesn't guarantee get a double. Unfortunately, no brave lands, right? And no pursuit, so. But he did get a debt. Quan is kind of your unreliable pursuit. When it works, it's pretty awesome, but it's definitely not guaranteed. I think Finn can be better, right? I don't know about, like, base stats or growths or whatever. But Pursuit is a better skill than Adept, and Miracle gives him some good arena use. The B, the B Lances should go up to A when he promotes. I mean, he won't get Star, but otherwise, yeah, I kind of have a feeling Finn has a slightly better skill set. Alright, we also have Sylvia. Don't forget that I could be doing even more shenanigans by resending out my calves four more, or four of them one more time. It's not necessary this round, but... So it's always an option. Actually, what I can do is uh, dance Requisis back so that she's out of um, peril. I, I don't really know if I'm going to get a whole lot of value out of Alec and Noish. I just want to make sure that I can heal and then get out of the way with Ethelin, basically. That was kind of my logic there. She certainly doesn't need to be on the front row after she heals. Yeah. And I mean, I might as well keep dancing, even though I'm not really getting a whole lot of value out of it. It is a super powerful skill, and it's good to start getting used to it. Setting up my turns with her to plan on use the, four, the quad dance. Not like it makes a huge difference, but she cannot be shot if she's over there. So if they want to fight with Jamka with range, you know, that's actually probably pretty good for him. And I know I haven't used, like, uh, Dew or anything, but... It's pretty difficult to find a safe spot for a thief that can't canto away. Oh, by the way, I did look up if, um, speaking of cantoing away... Uh, if you have kept your three paladins for Lachesis or Lachesis alive, um, I think it's at the end of the chapter, they give her a ring, which is a, I forget the name of it, but essentially it's a canto ring that gives the bearer the ability to, you know, attack and move, which is interesting. Ooh, 31% hits. Come on, Jamka, that's, that's not like you. This is like you, though, getting three hits. Ooh, that means Dew could get a kill, guys. Maybe? No, Dew will do one damage. He will do one damage. It's terrible. Should have equipped a Javelin on Quan when I came back. My bad. Sigurd doesn't have a Javelin, though. Not like this is going to change anything. And the Cantoing Archering begins. Canto Bow Knight's pretty good. Anyone that played Three Houses... If you haven't finished your, your playthrough yet, you should probably get a Bow Knight or two. They're uh, possibly the best class in the game. I mean, flying is definitely good, but super long range Kanto archers, pretty good too. Highly recommend Leonia's Bow Knight. Fight me. Alright. Actually, feeding a little bit of XP to Lex isn't the end of the world. 
getting him to level 20 to get his promotion is fine. And then after that, he's... Well, maybe he'll join Sigurd in the ranks of superpowered paladins. I did give him the uh, defense ring, right? So this is even better that they're wasting their attacks on him, kind of. Because he's taking kind of very minimal damage compared to most of my guys. That's a lot of cav, though. Definitely a lot of cav. Oh, that's the boss cav. Okay. Gotta be a little bit careful with this guy. Oh, Granville's dog stand no... A little careful. Remember, this is the guy that thinks he's gonna die. Granville's dog stand no chance in the face of my warrior pride. I'll put an end to your rampage. Or I'll die. Okay, you hit Finn for a lot of damage. Alright. So now we got a lot of enemies on the field. So we gotta watch those ballista. I don't really want to move from our current position. Like, I can't really go forward much. Or we start getting in ballista range. Uh, Finn took a big hit. Lex is chip damage. Everyone else is full. Except Jamka. But Jamka is probably safe enough. Uh, priority will be to kill as many of these archers as we can. I think. And also Zane. Now, it's possible... Oh, he's got authority too. Now that he's nearby, he's giving a 20% hit and evade to all of his allies that are within three or so. Up to here, basically. And this kind of line. Anyone in that range. So how do we deal with him? It's a uh, Brave Axe. Uh, 18 damage. He doesn't... Does he have Pursuit? I always forget. No Pursuit. So just 36 damage. He's got a horse there. Oh, that's bad. Because he switches... That's... I didn't even think of that. I'm kind of lucky he used the javelin. Because if he did the horse there, it would have been a crit. Unless you have Nihil. Which you do not. There's only a couple people that have that. Okay, so that's a problem. So... This might be a good turn for Sylvia, yeah. We want to plan a, a way of using Sylvia to dance four more people. Or four more useful... Four most useful people. So it might end up being smart to go for Killer Bow. Because that way we're not getting hit... Like, range will mean we're not getting hit by... Uh, by his Horse Slayer crits. But that's only going to be 22 damage... Maybe more if we get a, a lock-in or a crit from the uh, killer bow. That's probably the best first action, I think. See how this goes and then determine our next step from here. A crit would be lovely, Midir. No crits. No a cost, no crit. Because we're below 25 HP, we cannot get a cost or pursuit. Speed defense, sure. He's getting a lot of defense. So technically we could dance him and attack again if we set it up properly. Ah, uh, I bet you Lewin could kill him, but then I have to be very careful about my positioning. 22 damage times 2 for sure. He'd take 22 back. This is the easiest way to get the kill. Um... So it's 55 to take 20 damage, or 45 to take 22. The difference is pretty inconsequential. It's more about positioning. Where do I want Lewin to, to be? I might have to dance him, which means move Lex, dance these four tiles, pull Lewin back, maybe kill somebody, and that means Sylvia will be the most fragile here. Which really means I really do need to kill more archers so that she's safe. She'll be out of range of the Ballista in this spot. And we can still guard her with melee units that will be out of range of the Ballista. So that's... I think that's the plan. This doesn't leave a lot of room for attacking this guy. So we're going to have to have people pick him off. But getting Luin out of the way means someone can attack the Bow Knight from range if I want. And maybe we don't take the hit here anyway. You never know. We might just get an Adept and kill him instantly. No Adept. No dodge. But Pursuit... See, now, if he hadn't had the Pursuit Ring, there'd be no guarantee that we would have killed him there. So, I think that was a good purchase. And, you know, he needs the XP, so it's fine. Alright. 
Now, it's always possible when you kill a boss in a fire emblem that his his troops all run away, but I wouldn't count on it. Oh, also, don't forget about Eren. Um, so she's got eight movement. Terrain doesn't matter. Uh, I just want to see if she could maybe kill this guy and then get two back or three back. So it's one, two, three, four, five attack, six, seven, eight. So she's totally fine for that. That's probably the best use of her is trying to pick off one of the archers from safety. Although I, 15, she's not going to get a kill. Definitely not an armor slayer. No, no, no uh, crit chance on that. Still, this will weaken it enough that someone else will hopefully finish this archer off when we get to it. I maybe should have saved her attack for a little bit later so that I could guarantee get a kill on one of these, but... This is actually not a terrible use for her, I feel like. That's that's okay. Okay, so the plan is to use this tile to dance. We've got to clear out a fair number of these guys. Uh, let's see. I just want to see how much damage Deirdre can do. Yep, I kind of had a feeling. <laughs> also, we get uh, support bonus from... Uh, what's his name? Normally, you'd be like, using magic on an archer is dangerous at range because you'll get a big counter. Not if you just one-shot it, though. Alright, good. <laughs> Simple, to the point. Uh, Lewin, or Azel, though. Maybe... This is probably not where I'm going to move him, but I just want to check. 27 times 2. He can one round an Armor Knight, although the Javelin may hit him. So if, if Quan's spot opens up, uh, Azel could kill that guy. If Jamka kills... Remember, the plan is to dance from this tile. This is kind of locking Jamka out, but that's fine. Getting at least one kill with Jamka is pretty decent for a not-horse unit. Also, he's injured, so... I don't really want him on the front unless I can heal him anyway. Alright, so that's opening things up a little bit. Uh, let's see. So I was planning on Azul kill plus Sylvia dance, which gives him another action, gives Lewin another action, gives Midir another action. Theoretically, could give someone in that tile another action. This square, let's see. Now, we could move a foot unit there if we're happy with the spot. And assuming they can get a kill. I wouldn't mind trying to get Ira a kill again. It's been a while. So she'll do 24. Oh, yeah. Slaughtered. Slaughtered. And it is really important we get all these archers dead, I think. Plus, she'll be out of range of the Ballista. So it's better for the Cav to be the ones that push forward into Ballista territory. Because they'll be able to attack and get out of the way. Whereas my ground units, you know, they've, they've only got what they've got. On the other hand, if I push real deep, we could block these two tiles up with, like, Sigurd and Quan. Or, uh, maybe even, um, Lex if we healed him with his mighty defense. That would be very aggressive, but three javelins doing 16 damage, 16 damage. They're only doing 16 damage. They're even weaker than the last Ballista. That's one to Lex, one to Quan, two to Sigurd. The, the Ballista are almost inconsequential to the, the right units. And we could definitely make a choke point there and ignore... The, with the right people, we could brush it off. That might be... I think we can do it. That means we can move forward with foot units even further. And he has Pursuit... I think all Myrmidons have Pursuit, so it's always it's a second attack. It's good to know, because I believe all enemy Myrmidons will have Pursuit as well. Alright, we want to get Azel a kill. Uh, I mean, Dew <laughs> could steal some money. We, have, we really don't get much use out of Dew lately. He can attack that guy, but, I mean, this is silly, right? Three damage for a little bit of gold. I'm really not getting as much stealing out of Dew as I thought I would get. So I, I feel a little bit bad because I thought I'd use him more often. Beowulf needs some fighting. He'd probably be pretty good against the axe guy. 
So Beowulf gets two attacks. But he's not going to be able to Kanto out of there very well. Maybe I should start planning on where to move Quan because I really want to get Azul. Like, as soon as this guy's dead, the road's open and it's easier to move forward. I'm, it's unfortunate that we have to use Quan first, but... I think if I put... It's just a matter of pushing, right? It's how far can you push in. Rakvazis. We could use you. And she's got the Paragon Bank, but she's also one of my healers. I need people that can heal, too. I definitely want to heal Lex. Finn's a bit low. I wonder if I could, like, kill this guy on the side and then Kanto away. Does... Finn, Finn's the one with Pursuit. He should be... He is faster than these guys. So even if he takes a hit here... Which he probably will. He'll survive it. And we can get him out of the way, basically. And this just gets us one more kill with someone with Kanto. Too bad he's missing that one strength. He could kill these guys safely with his Brave Lance. Alright, we can get him out of the way. He'll be out of Ballista as well there, right? Yeah. Good. Alright. Ah, da -da -da -da. Let's see. Also, the next up is some healers with swords. Like, these guys are almost inconsequential. Because they don't... They're not going to do, like... Eight. They're going to do 14 damage. They barely do any damage at all. Once we've killed all these guys, there's not much left to hurt us. So yeah, this is looking pretty solid. Plus with the dance, we're going to have all these extra attacks. Assuming I heal fit. I should have put someone else there maybe, but... Uh, Noish. Yeah, yeah. Can you do 9 damage? Technically, yes. Good job, Noish. I don't know why I keep giving these guys he kills. Noish and Alec are pretty bad. Kind of going to be in the way now, too. He doesn't die to these guys, right? 16 damage. 6 times 3 is 18. He's fine. As long as I don't get, you know, surrounded, he'll be okay. So I think Quan... Well, it'd be nice. Is there anyone that can take that guy out without too much trouble? Sigurd? <laughs> There's always Sigurd. That's fine at this point. At this point, I've done enough um, careful planning. I think we can just rush through the last little section here. We should be fine. These guys don't have much left, I don't think. Not much left in the tank. Uh, I was going to heal. I didn't have a chance to heal Lex. Is it really a concern? He's going to have Weapon Triangle over the Lance guys. Let's just see how much damage... Oh no, these guys, the the healing ones, can only do one damage. It's nothing. Nothing. Um, it would have been a lot easier if I just got rid of this guy earlier. I've got two healers. You can actually make it all the way up there. So, if Lex takes damage here but gets the kill, we can still heal him. 23 damage, he'll get the kill. As long as he's not dying on the counterattack, I didn't double double check. I didn't triple check. Oh, right. Brave Axe. What am I even thinking? Ha ha ha. Oh, we're over an hour already? Man, where's the time go? Alright, you can stay there. And... Ethlyn's gonna come up and heal you just to keep the line strong. Uh, she could attack, that's true. But not necessary. Okay, because they're not going to have any ranged attacks up there. And then that means Quan finishes up the line. Almost one shot with a silver sword. Not quite. I'm killing healers now. I feel a little guilty. Because they, they're really not meant for battle. I mean, they have swords, but they're not, they're not battle hardened. Alright, look at this. Getting some kills. See, I was actually not expecting us to wipe out this entire army in one turn. Um, good job, Azul. Standard. I was predicting that I would need to worry about my defensive formation here to keep people alive. As it is... Oh, I didn't actually think about Ethlyn. 
is out of range. I didn't actually plan for that. Like, that was a mistake. Uh, but she is actually out of range of the Ballista. So my, my healer is safe. Although she could have survived three Ballista anyway. But technically, I didn't account for that. One more healer. Could be Finn. Let's do the dance that I was planning. I mean, I could just dance up here and push in. But this is what I was always planning on. So we'll just do this. We could get Azul another kill. Or we could get Luin a kill. That might be even better. So two of them could shoot him. Eight defense. He takes... I def actually don't even need to heal him technically. But... We've also got Midir. All these people need healing now. If I do this with Rakwis, that puts her in range to give some support bonuses. Heals up Luin, who's... I'm assuming going to be my best mage, and he just killed the boss, or the the mini boss, whatever. I mean, he seems pretty good, so I I, I think if I'm going to feed kills to anyone, it might as well be him. Hmm, not a great level up. Now, he does have Holy Blood, right? So he should have decent growths overall, but it's hard to know. Okay, Azul basically just stays out of range of the Ballista. Maybe get him a kill next turn, depending how things go. Madeir, maybe. We'll see. Dew, probably done. Uh, Finn, just needs healing. Probably done. Alec, nobody likes Alec. Oh, I forgot about this talk. Here you go, it's important. Uh, hey, Sylvia, are you? Uh, excuse me for being so forward, but you're adorable! Finally! Here I was thinking this army is nothing but stiff and boring military types. It's about time someone appreciated me. Heh, <laughs> I guess I'm the only decent guy around here. Glad I found you! Thanks, me too! I guess we'll be here a while, so how about dinner sometime? That'd be nice. Oh yeah, maybe I'll dance for you! I got a special one that's no one's seen yet. It's kind of embarrassing, because it's very special. Maybe I'll show it to you, though. Oh, you will? <laughs> Oh, I can't wait! Alright, you guys are never allowed to stand beside each other ever again. <laughs> Alec is not in... His stats are so bad, no one wants him as a parent. That's a terrible idea. Sylvia's got her own boyfriend to work on, and it's not Alec. Although they probably just got a bunch of love points, but no. Alright, that's it. What's going on back in the castle? Were we doing anything back here? We could, we could farm some XP on warp. I'm not going to bother. We could just warp him around. Poor Arden. Just teleport him through all the castles. Alright, so they're going for Sigurd. They they can't even hurt him. Like, why does it matter? Okay. Just skip all the Ballista. It's pointless. You fool! You have run into the Brave Axe Man again. Alright, Lex. I think this is level 20, right? Should return him home so I can promote him before the end of the episode. Alright, HP defense. Defense is nice. Not a lot of other good stats, but take it. Um, Quan doesn't have a Brave Lance, but he's still pretty good. Oh, healing! Look at these guys being clever. <laughs> so clever. Are you going to heal? Okay, seriously, we'll just skip that. <laughs> I gotta get to the end of this chapter. Alright, now Eren definitely would use a kill if I could get her one. She's she's pretty low level. She can do 18. She's got Pursuit, correct? Yeah, all the good characters have Pursuit. She just needs... I, can she use B Lances? She needs a Brave Lance. It should be pretty good. Or a Brave Sword. Brave Sword would be awesome. Uh... Look, I just can't resist. Lewin seems really, really good. Get out of here, Augusty. I mean, Troubadour. Alright, and then Lex is level 20, so I'm not gonna... He's, he's gonna take a break. I guess he'd be pretty good against the boss. No, he'd not be terribly good against the boss. Silverblade. Not perfect. Because, because I care about things like this, let's go get him promoted. 
I know you could just do it at the beginning of the next chapter, but... I'm a sucker. Also, experience for, uh, for Ethlyn. She's not going to get promoted yet. There we go. I just don't want to forget. Alright, guys. Promotion party, the second. Masterfully done! You're able to change to Great Knight! Would you like to do so? Alright. Lex with the blue armor. Clearly preferential treatment because of his amazing armor color. Good choice. Also, our only axe guy. Mounted Hector? Is that what we're going to call him? Ooh, shiny. Even his horse is blue. Alright, one skill, five strength, one speed, four defense, and three res. That's a pretty good promotion. Uh, I kind of feel like he's on Sigurd's level now with a Brave Axe. I mean, he's got the shield ring putting him up to 24 defense, but oof. He's not very fast, so his pursuit, or he doesn't even have pursuit, doesn't even matter. Oof, that's a lot of damage. Yeah, we're up to 37 base damage Brave Axe, double attacks. That's, yep. The Mighty Mighty Lex. I wonder if he could beat the final arena now. <laughs> I can't resist. He's probably going to die terribly. But he's got so much defense. <laughs> uh, why? Why do I always try? 38%. But he hits hard. He's still got no chance. Sorry, Lex. As awesome as you are, you cannot beat a Myrmidon with a Steel Blade and lots of speed. Alright. That's unfortunate. <laughs> Let's keep going. We're almost we're almost done. So we got uh, Lance and a, and a healer. Uh, priority, I guess. Azel, maybe. Um... Oh, right. No, the priority was trying to get uh, Eren to level 10, I think. This should get this guy real low. Unless we trigger uh, Adept. Also, gotta watch out for those Ballista. Don't forget about Ballista. Oh, look. There's Adept. Still, most of my guys have enough defense that the uh, Ballista aren't a big deal. Speed and resistance. Hmm, okay. Alright. Can anyone not kill this mage? I wonder if we stand here, we can kill one of the ballista. But we've got to, we've got to. I think what I should be doing here is rushing pretty quickly, because this will open up. Essentially, doing something like this, if I can get a couple hits, will open up the path for my weaker units a lot easier. We did not get a kill. Well, it was worth a try. So, keeping in mind that there's a Ballista, let's do, um, well, we could also move up and dance somebody to get even closer. We could hit three people from that square. You know, if I put Sigurd there, I wonder if he could have made it all the way around. Can't steal without a dance. Is there anyone that, like, I mean, I'm just messing around now, I guess. 24 probably doubles. That's too much. Unless you, I don't know how fast these guys are. Uh, actually, 7 speeds. It's tied with Thunder. So we'll just use the fire to guarantee not a double. And uh, that'll put it in range for um, our Pegasus. Because the Pegasus Knight... Oh yeah, I got to heal Hazel, actually. <laughs> By the way. But yeah, I feel like getting her uh, some kills when we can is, is kind of more important. She might not be the best uh, fighter, but getting her some level ups and maybe a promotion so she's faster and dodgier, that'll just, you know, flying is such a good ability, you know. Alright. Noish, I guess. You've got nothing else to do but run up. Alec. Sure. Point is, we should be able to kill some Ballista next turn one way or the other and then we'll be okay. So I would like to heal Azel. And I'm pretty sure now that nothing else is attacking us, we should be able to out-heal whatever uh, Ballista DPS we take. 
I think. How far were we potentially dancing? So we can dance Requis and one person above her. Finn needs heals before I move him up. Can Sylvia survive three Ballista? Two defense? Probably not, actually. That's uh, 16 damage, so 14 damage per hit. It's actually not a safe move. She dies in three Ballista. Now, the odds of her getting hit three times are probably pretty slim, but yeah, I should not do that. Alright. It's fine. You know what I should have done is just dance for some healers. So we just get more healing in while we're waiting. The boss has a um, the boss has a silver blade, so if I need help, Finn is more likely to be useful than Jamka. In my my guess here, that's out of range, right? All right, now Finn's mostly healed, and honestly, everybody else down here is kind of just done. Gotta get to the end of the episode. We're almost there. All right, hopefully I didn't mess up here. Uh, five damage. There's no way they can kill Holin. Uh, Beowulf, six damage. There's no way. And Azel, 12 damage. I guess if all three had hit him. Oh, he's got Physic, right! Good, good thinking, boss man. Silver blade and a physic staff. Well, we're definitely happy to get take that off your hands. I guess uh, what kind of uh, rank is that? B rank. So that means not Requius and not Ethlin. So I don't have anyone nearby to kill him that can use it. So whoever kills him gets something to sell, and then we'll have to try to pick it up with. Uh, I guess Deirdre could use it technically, but uh, no, it's probably meant for um, Aideen at the moment. Alright, so Noish can make it all the way up here, but can he get the kill? Probably not. <sighs> we'll, let him, we'll let him try. He needs an Acost to trigger. Hey! Proven me wrong! Getting a level up for it. Now get strength and speed. That <laughs> I keep telling you guys, Noish and Alec are garbage. <laughs> They're so bad. Alright, I don't think we're gonna attack the boss this turn. Just wanna kill all of his ballista so my guys are safe. And then next turn we should be done. Honestly, Quan might just be able to destroy him. Uh 27 damage to 20. Quan can survive two hits. Correct? Yeah. 46 HP. He probably won't get hit twice anyway. The boss will suicide on him next turn if he attacks. No, the boss will probably heal between turns, so it won't quite be enough. Uh, don't even think about underestimating me. You don't stand a chance. Also, he's got Pavice. Oh, also Quan can use Adept. That was pretty good, Quan. I guess we're just beating it right now then. Sure. Thanks, Quan. Watch him use Pavice twice. Uh, no, wait, please spare me, please. No, he uh, he's like, don't underestimate. He does nothing and gets killed in like. No time flat, basically. Alright, Sigurd getting some skill and some speed. And the Physic Tome to sell. He's actually got way too much money. I should have given it to somebody else. Also, killing those Ballista doesn't matter. They're only, like, level 1, so you get almost no experience, right? They're really low level. Desire! King Chagall survived the battle somehow, but he was badly wounded by you. <laughs> He's currently being attended by a royal peace priest. Uh, from what I heard, someone pulled him from the battlefield after I almost killed him. Who in the world could have done that? 
Well, that was me, Sigurd. I rescued my king to preserve the life of the last of the Augusti dynasty. You keep killing everyone, you fool. <laughs> no matter how unwise his decisions, no matter how ill his temper, I cannot sit in silence and allow my liege to die. I mean, that... I mean, I've been kind of getting on uh, Sigurd's case a little bit here. Oh, uh, Eldegan, I mean, forget about all that. You're safe. We came to rescue you. Thank the gods. I've been looking everywhere for you since I heard you were arrested for trying to stop your king from invading my land. Well, I suppose I was. But what's the meaning of this? Why is your an army swarming the capital? Uh, the first thing I see. Why are reports saying our castles are now under the rule of Grand Vale officers? As if we were a mere tributary state. Uh, well, I had this army ready. Just, it was nearby, and, you know, they almost kidnapped and raped your sister, right? So, like, you know. I'm indisposed for barely any time at all, only to find Grand Vale has made itself a home, at home in Augustria behind my back. There had better be a damn good explanation for all this, Sigurd, or there'll be consequences. Uh, I'm sorry, out again. Look, I had an army, and your sister needed some help, and, uh, I just, you know. There was, there was, there was axe guys pillaging, I, I don't know. You, you know, honestly, right now... The best thing to be is like, okay, I'm just going to take all my troops out. Augustria is all yours. Do with it as you please. Because, like, we trust Eldegan, right? Just be like, Eldegan, Rayquisis, there you go. We killed all the guys that were trying to kill you and put you in jail. Have fun with your country. Do whatever you want, right? Let's see what Sigurd does. I'm so sorry, Eldegan. You're absolutely right. None of this makes sense to me either. As if out of nowhere, the entire entirety of Augustria suddenly turned it against us. We had no choice. I've been ordered to remain here with my army for the time being, to maintain peace and order. Eldigan, please. I know this is a dreadful situation, but one year is all I need. We're just going to occupy your country for one year. I feel like this is the right time for Sigurd to go home, return the Prince of Isaac, return Augustry to Eldegard, or whatever, Eldegan, return Verdane to uh, Jelka, Jemka. Like, these are his friends. Just let these guys have their kingdoms, go home, see what's going on at home with all these corrupt chancellors that we keep hearing about. No. I can restore peace in a year. And repair... Have we seen any proof that Sigurd is any good at diplomacy? Is this something he actually does? I don't, I don't know if I believe him. Anyway, I can restore peace and repair diplomatic ties, but only if I'm allowed time. Once our time is through, we'll leave your country with no objections. My king and I pledge our... Yeah, 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 yeah. My king and I. Ha, ha, ha. I suppose I have little choice but to take you at your word. Very well. You'll have your year. I shall relocate the king to the northern Medino castle for his own protection. I'll also leave my cross knight stationed at Fort Sival. Silvale. Offer even the slightest provocation and your forces will have to answer to us. Remember, I'm holding you to your word. Break your promise and we will break you. Do I make myself clear, Sigurd? Look, you could try, but if you attack us, then I see more castles to come. I mean, of course, you know I'm not about to betray you. Please, Eldegan, you have to trust me. How long will the trust last? Find out next time in Chapter 3, if we finally finish a chapter. I don't know, I'm having a good time. This is fun. Good game. This is fun stuff. Definitely long episodes, long series. But uh, assuming you guys are still listening, you guys probably don't mind too much. So thanks for watching, hope you've enjoyed, and have a great day. I'll see you next time.